a health watch? No, 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 this is a $10 <laughs> watch. Uh... Remember that epic showdown between Mike Tyson and Lennox Lewis back in 2002? Tyson walked away with a cool $35 million from that fight alone, which is something like over $60 million today when you adjust for inflation. Imagine earning that kind of money from just one night's work. Fast forward to now, Tyson's net worth hovers around $10 million. It's a stark reminder of how even the mightiest fortunes can dwindle through lavish spending and bad financial decisions. This cautionary tale leads us to a golden rule followed by those whose wealth seems to only grow. They're cautious about where their money goes. There are certain expenses that the wealthy avoid to ensure their financial health remains in good shape. In this video, I will uncover eight spending habits that all billionaires avoid in order to guarantee a safe financial future for themselves. If you're keen on safeguarding your own finances, growing your wealth, and avoiding money pits, you're in the right place. Hit that subscribe button and ring the bell icon to stay updated with our latest insights on smart money moves. Ready to learn from the best in the business and avoid financial pitfalls? Let's get into it. 1. Interest on credit cards I had a woman come to see me here not long ago, and she'd come on some money, not very much, but it was a lot to her. And she said, what should I do with it? And I said, well, put you on your credit card. She said, well, I own X. I said, well, what you should do, I, I, I don't know what interest rate she was paying. She said, it was something like 18%. I said, I don't know how to make 18%. If I owed any money at 18%, the first thing I'd do with any money I had would be to pay it off. It's going to be way better than any investment idea I've got. And then... Now, using a credit card feels a bit like diving into a tub of ice cream. It's easy, feels good in the moment, but oh, the guilt and the financial hangover that can follow. It's that convenience that can be a real trap, leading to spending money you don't actually have on hand. But here's the thing, the truly rich, they're not about letting their money slip away on high interest. They see credit card interest for what it is, a total waste of their hard-earned cash. The secret isn't in avoiding credit cards altogether, but in mastering their use. So, here's a rule of thumb to follow. Only charge what you can afford to pay off by the time your statement rolls in. This way, the balance is settled before interest has a chance to even knock on the door. But what should you do when a balance sneaks up on you? The wealthy don't just sit back and watch the interest pile up. Instead, they get strategic transferring or consolidating their debt onto a credit card that offers a 0% introductory APR. This move is like a tactical pause, giving them a chance to catch up without the burden of interest adding to their load. 2. Expensive Cars Do any of your billionaire friends ever joke with you about the Cadillac and that you're driving and not a something flashier? Uh, no, they really, they know me pretty well. This is the McDonald's I go to. The second expense billionaires avoid has something to do with luxury cars. You know, the ones that make heads turn and have everyone dreaming of cruising down the highway? While it's tempting to visualize the super wealthy pulling up in the latest Ferrari or Lamborghini, the truth might surprise you. Here's a little reality check for you. When it comes to cars, many millionaires park their dollars in the garage of practicality and reliability rather than splurging on high-ticket rides. The Millionaire Next Door, a book that peeks behind the curtains of millionaire lifestyles, reveals a surprising trend. The majority of millionaires surveyed preferred driving around in a Toyota or Ford. Yep, you heard that right. No flashy Lamborghinis or Ferraris taking the spotlight, but rather the understated reliability of cars most of us see every day. Why, you might ask? It's all about preserving wealth and sticking to a frugal lifestyle. Each dollar saved on avoiding a car that depreciates like a rock the moment it leaves the dealership is a dollar that can be invested elsewhere, growing over time. 3. High-End Brands You've been living at about um, 10x where you're going to get to live for the next three years. So I'm getting ready to destroy your life as you know it. Because your, li your lifestyle is considerably above your extremely good income. And has been for a period of time. And so you've gotten used to spending like you're in Congress. When it comes to fashion, the temptation of high-end brands can be intense. 
the glitz, the glamour, the sense of prestige that comes with wearing a designer label. These are hard to resist. However, when you peek into the wardrobes of the truly wealthy, you might be surprised to find that not every piece is dripping in luxury labels. Yes, they have the means to splurge on every designer piece that catches their eye, but they often choose not to. Why? Because they recognize that just because they can doesn't mean they should. Take Mark Zuckerberg, for instance. The founder of Facebook is known for his incredibly simple wardrobe, which consists mostly of gray t-shirts and jeans. It's a far cry from the luxury and opulence one might expect from someone of his wealth. The reality is, rich people buy what makes sense. It's not always about the label or price tag, but value, quality, and practicality. This means that sometimes the $25 jeans from a discount store are a far wiser choice than the $250 designer pair. 4. Extended Warranties Never buy an extended warranty. But it might break down. No, it's going to break down. But the statistical probability of the breakdown and the cost of the, uh, the, the parts that are covered by the extended warranty represent 12% of what you paid. So if you pay $2,000 for a dadgum extended warranty on a car, which people do all the time, and finance it into the car, that tells us then that $240 is what you actually covered. You got $240 worth of actual probability, and the rest of it went in their pocket to make them smile. Now, it's natural to want to protect your shiny new gadget or appliance, ensuring it lasts as long as possible. But here's the kicker. Extended warranties often don't pack the punch you'd expect for the extra cash they demand. In fact, a revealing insight from Consumer Reports highlights that retailers pocket a whopping 50% or more of what they charge for these warranties. It turns out that sinking money into extended warranties is not a game the wealthy play. So, what's the billionaire move when faced with the option of an extended warranty? They do their due research. Follow their lead. The first step is to scrutinize your manufacturer's warranty. Quite often, you'll discover that your initial coverage is not as bad as you thought. Another pro tip is to weigh the cost of potential repairs against the price of the extended warranty. In many cases, you'll find that the math just doesn't add up in favor of forking over extra for extended protection. 5. Inflated Interest Rates Let's talk about something that might not be as flashy, but can save you a boatload of money in the long run, avoiding inflated interest rates. It all boils down to the power of a good credit score. Just like a VIP pass gets you backstage, a good credit score can unlock lower interest rates on auto loans, mortgages, and more. Over the life of a loan, this could mean saving not just pennies, but whole stacks of cash. Billionaires and financially successful individuals treat their credit reports like gold, meticulously maintaining them by paying bills on time, minimizing debt, and swiftly correcting any errors. This discipline ensures that they're always in a position to secure loans at the most favorable rates. 6. Lottery Tickets You don't have to really worry about, you know, what's going on in IPOs or... People win lotteries every day, but the, there's no reason to have that effect at all. You shouldn't be jealous about it. I mean, it's, you know, if they want to do mathematically unsound things and want... Lottery tickets are one of the expenses that billionaires wisely dodge. While the thrill of potentially winning millions might seem irresistible, it's literally tossing your money into a pit. Billionaires' habits don't typically include queuing up at the convenience store to buy lottery tickets. Consider this. Your odds of clinching the Powerball jackpot stand at a staggering 1 in 292 million. Let's face it, those odds hardly scream good investment. Let's break it down with some simple math to put things into perspective. A single Powerball ticket sets you back $3. While that might not seem like a hefty sum at first glance, playing twice a week for an entire year, picking up two tickets each time, would mean you're out by over $400 annually. That's $400 that could have been guiding you toward your financial goals, be it saving up for your retirement or for college tuition. 7. 
impulse buying. If, if you are someone that tends to impulse buy, don't have a whole lot of cash on you when you go to the store, right? right? Don't have a ton of cash on you in your mm -hmm. wallet when you're out grocery shopping. Because you're gonna see that thing, but oh, I, got a, I got a couple hundred bucks on me, sure I'll buy that. Thing that I've noticed and people that Imagine this, you enter a store with a single item on your list, but leave juggling bags filled with things you hadn't planned to buy. Whether it was the temptation of a buy one get one free offer or a flash sale on designer shoes, these moments of weakness can add up quickly. But here's the thing, this isn't how the wealthy shop. Take Warren Buffett for example. Known for his disciplined investment strategy, Buffett lives a remarkably frugal lifestyle despite his immense wealth. He famously still resides in the same house in Omaha that he bought back in the 1950s and drives a practical car. The truly successful are known for their thorough planning and strategic thinking, qualities that don't quite align with the impulsive decision to fill a cart on the go. They understand that every dollar spent on something unplanned is a dollar not invested towards their long-term goals. 8. Eating out frequently While enjoying a meal at a restaurant can be a delightful experience, making it a regular practice is where the financial drain begins. Despite their ability to dine at the most exquisite restaurants without blinking an eye, billionaires often choose to do so occasionally. So, what's the reason? They understand the value of money and the importance of investing it wisely. Eating out frequently is not just about the cost of a single meal, it's about the cumulative effect this habit can have on one's financial health. Instead of frequenting restaurants, successful individuals often opt for cooking at home. Not only does this practice save money, but it also offers the opportunity to eat healthier, another aspect many wealthy individuals pay close attention to. Now you know the eight habits you should avoid if you aspire to build wealth over time and become successful. And trust me, you can do it. Take advice from Warren Buffett himself in our next video on how to become rich in just six months. Let us know in the comments below which expenses you're planning to avoid, following in the footsteps of billionaires. We'll be back with another video soon.